one practical tip on scaling a company in the US. Um, yeah, be in the US. So who are you and what do you do? Like you would explain it to Elon Musk. So I'm, um, I'm an entrepreneur myself and also an advisor to a handful of entrepreneurs. Um, born and raised in the Netherlands, but came here in 2013. So I've been in LA permanently now for about nine years. Started my first startup in 2016 after a career in management consulting. And uh, since then, became an advisor to a handful of startups, uh, as well as a Dutch venture capital firm, uh, mostly focused on helping Dutch startups bridge the, the jump to the United States. So what is the best way to build a network in the US? So, excellent question, uh, because it's not easy because you compete against the gigantic network of, that Americans have just natively by, by being here. So the best way is to come over in different iterations, keep extending the time you're here, because Americans ex uh, expect, especially the founder, to be here and be available. Um, so tapping into Americans and their, into their networks, making friends and having them make introductions just to get the ball rolling uh, is, is absolutely the best way to get, get started here. Yeah. What was your most W2F moment doing business in the US? <laughs> I think um, well, there may be a specific moment that comes to mind while, while I'm answering this, but I um, think that there's an American cultural thing where you can get an absolute non-response for the longest amount of time, which means absolutely nothing. Which means that internally they could be developing things and it could be a yes as an answer, it could be a no as an answer, but they are excellent at not communicating at all. Which means you're like, okay, this is lost or whatever, or you start getting nervous and communicating. Um, they'll go quiet for a long time and it means absolutely nothing. One practical tip on scaling a company in the US. Um, yeah, be in the US. I think there's, um, of all the Dutch startups I've talked to, there, there is a comfort level of being in the Netherlands and then expecting by building up relationships here that there's a business to be started, uh, but it doesn't work that way. Um, you really need to have a presence here. Americans want to see people here. Uh, continuously, especially when it comes down to founders, so it needs to be a long-term plan, and a long-term plan needs includes key people in the company having a presence here, and then taking the time to build that up, build build up relationships and networks. Otherwise, there's there's not there's no scaling in the U.S. You actually need to be in the U.S., especially when it comes down to getting venture capital here. Most VCs don't invest unless you're incorporated in Delaware under the sort of the default um, uh, incorporation uh, setup that you have in the U.S. What advice would you give young entrepreneurs? There's a lot of homework to be done to arrive here and be efficient and effective in, in your time in what you do here. Um, there's a lot of homework to be done on which cities you want to be in because in the US, this, uh, the center point, the gravity point of, um, of industries is often in a specific city in the US. So it's not just it's not just San Francisco and Silicon Valley, which I hear a lot, like I'm going to go to Silicon Valley and raise capital. Um, it, it doesn't work that way. It's very, it's, it's segmented across cities in the US. Um, and also, and since the maturity of, 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 of venture capital and, and startups, you can find them all over the US. So it's homework, like where do you need to go? Um, doing homework and networking in terms of the people you know, reaching out to Dutch people that have specific networks um, and ask specific questions about introductions to specific people and facilitate the messaging and, and the material to share so it's easy for people like me to help the startups get traction here rather than asking a wide open question and then making people like me do the homework, right? Which I'm not going to. If, if, I, would, if I work that way, I could spend my entire day 24 seven doing research on behalf of people that need help rather than being helped to help them. Uh, I think that that's absolutely critical. Uh, so do the homework and then start making plans to be present and start doing the networking and start figuring out specifically how things work here because it's extremely hard to figure it out from the Netherlands. It's, it's nearly impossible. So, um, and then you have to be realistic about living here because you need presence. Without presence, it's, you're going to lose attraction, attraction from, from anybody in the US very quickly. There, there's too much here 
to be bothered with the complexity of you know, people and companies on the other side of the planet.